What is up, everyone? Welcome to the East Coast, where the 250 class is less exciting, and the 450 class is still what it was. <laughs> um, the big story of this, though, uh, let me look the KTM rider injury. Injury. They had the new um, Brian Moreau. Mar Mor Mario? Moreau? Um, I don't know how to say his name. I'm not gonna. I think it's Moreau, the new KTM rider for the for the 250 class, um, crashed in practice and I, and broke his his neck. I think C7 vertebrae. I want to say something like that. And there's been a bunch of stuff going around on Twitter about like how the Alpine Stars medical crew like carried him off the track and how it was bad and you know yes and no. You can't leave him laying. Like eventually you have to move him. It's it's one of those like. I'm not a medical professional, 95% of the people that are probably commenting on it on Twitter are not medical professionals, so like, I don't know, it sucks for him, I mean, I think, I think it was his first professional race too, and to crash like that and break your neck, um, just, just horrible, but the 250 East class, I don't know what it is, like, McElrath, Sexton, Hampshire, Marchbanks, Shimoda, like, it's just Jeremy Martin, too. I forgot about him. Um, I don't know. Like, the moment this race started, it was just... Or, like, I was watching the heat races, and it was just... I was so much less involved in this than I was the West. I, I just... Like, you get... Um, oh, and where's that? Uh, on, oh, and Jordan Smith, too. The guy who used to play... He, I think he used to ride for Husqvarna? Maybe, I don't know, or KTM wanted to. He was, like, supposed to be the next big thing. And I just think Sexton's going to walk away with this championship. You know, he's got, he's the East Championship, from, or East Champion from last year. And, yes, I think McElrath won this by, like, a hilarious amount. Just, like, stupid. And he switched teams, too, from, I want to say KTM to, to Yamaha. So, I mean, good for him for winning. He, he blew it out of the water. I mean, he won by five seconds, six seconds, something like that. Like, that's a long time. Or big big gap in a 250, especially with a shorter race. But it's just, I don't know. The the 250 East does nothing for me. I don't think it's anywhere near as exciting as, as the 250 West class. Maybe it's, I like the riders better out there. I, I don't know. Um, this, this course I really like, though. The, the big sand... The two-lane sand section with the 90-degree turn, you know, you had to be really good about keeping your throttle up, not getting bogged down, not, you know, getting too much on your front wheel. It was really good. I, I really liked how they did this track. You know, you had some good rhythm sections, and, and it was just, it was technical. Good, you know, it was a good race. Good, good track. Um, but you had... You know, McElrath first, Sexton second, Jerry Martin, Hampshire, Marchbanks, Jordan Smith. You know, whatever. That was a 250 class. I Again, not very excited with it. Just, it was what it was. And then, of course, the 450s. We are on the East Coast now. You're out of the, the nine trips to California. You, you still got all the people. No one's been injured this year, which is, you know, knock on, knock on wood, good. You don't want to see anyone get injured and people just win because, you know, it's easy. You get, you had the same players up front again. You had, um, Cian Cirillo who was leading. I want to say, yeah, he led for a while. But he had his little implosion again. And I think he got, he got stuck between like the, 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 um, start finish jump and something else for a while. I don't, I don't remember. You had Freezy start up front. You got the whole shot, I think. Seeing Cirillo, Tomac was right up there. You had Malcolm Stewart, um, Webb, Roxin, Wilson. Good job, Wilson, running in the top ten all race. I think I think he he almost could have gotten a top five. He was a couple seconds back, I think, at the end. But you know, good job for Wilson. I mean, you, when you consider he is supposed to be like the I don't know the temporary you know rider. I mean, he has a contract with him, but you've got you know you've got Anderson who they're I, did, I would assume they're number one since he was the 2018 champion. You've got Osborne, who they just signed. And Osborne was down in 18th to star. Uh, Anderson was in 11th, and I think he dropped back even more. Like, they just had a bad race. And good job for Wilson staying up front. 
You had uh, Barsha in the top 10, Reed in 15th, Plessinger down in 19th, and um, Blake Baggett didn't even start the main. I don't I don't know why on that, but you had, again, you had Cincero leading for a couple laps, and you had Tomac just pull out and <clears throat> away Tomac went. Um, Webb did... Webb did well. You know, he came back from, what, fifth or sixth or something like that, and he, I think he got second in this. If I don't, if I remember right, Roxon had a little bit of off night. I don't think he got, I think he got fourth or fifth. Again, we're going to get there. But, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Ooh, jeez, dropping stuff. Tell me what you think. Do you, are you happy they're on the East Coast? Do you like the West Coast tracks better? Um, who do you think's looking good right now? Like, obviously, you've got Tomac in the lead with, Roxon and Webb in the top three points, but do you think, you know, do you think one of them is going to pull away and, like, dominate the rest of the season, or do you think Barsha is going to come back? I mean, you have Justin Hill, too, on this, or Josh Hill? Justin Hill. Justin Hill? Oh, yeah, and you had the other Hill brother on the 250, like, racing for the first time in, like, 13 years or something, they said? I don't know. But, oh, yeah, Roxon had that little fall. He, he just washed the front. That wasn't bad, though, but... So, you know, tell me what you think. Are you excited they're on the East Coast? Um, are you going to be going to any of these tracks in the near future? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking. How's this season going for you? Are you watching it? Oh, yeah, that's, okay, yeah, that's the thing right there. Seems real, he fell, he didn't get stuck. He he fell on a top block, got stuck on it, and then kicked one out into the, yeah, I forgot, was it somebody else who got stuck between? I don't know. It wasn't him, though, but... He said... You can you can see Cianzarell just has a ton of speed, but it's just a little inconsistent at the moment. By little, I mean a lot. <laughs> when you lead laps in every race and you end up, like, 8th or ninth, it's, you know, it's not showing very good. But, I mean, yeah. You have to say, he is a rookie, technically. I mean... He's been around the sport for forever, considering he was a, a 250 pro, or the amateur prodigy, and he he won his what was his first ever 250 race and a couple more, and that was like what four years ago. But Tomac, 12 seconds ahead, he just blew everyone out of the water. I think he ended like six or seven seconds up because he probably just you know went into management mode. You don't need to be running qualifying laps if you're 12 seconds ahead with you know two laps to go, but. It was what it is. Tomac, Webb, Roxon, same three people up front. Barsha's in fifth. Uh, Stewart in sixth for once. Wilson, Anderson. Oh, he ended up eighth. Yeah. Whatever. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you like. Are you going to races again? You know, do all the fun YouTube stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Socials are in the description, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.